Thank you all you lovely people for the follows, by the way. Massive welcome in. Lovely, lovely, lovely people. Oh, Link, we meet again. Kato and I came here to see a geoglyph. Sadly, we were thwarted by the blizzard and grounded nearby. After it finally calmed down, we made our way to the village. We plan to get on with finding that geoglyph shortly. Link, I've been wondering. Have you found the geoglyph in southern Elden yet? No, I've not. Ooh. The map in the forgotten... The map in the Forgotten Temple showed a geoglyph that looks like a stone tablet. Oh, oh yes. It looks like our Sheikah Slate, I think. Um, didn't I mark where I thought they were? Gosh, this is all a mess, isn't it? Um, yeah, I think the stars are where I think they are on the map. Um, which means I did think there was one right here. And I've obviously not found it. Um, well, can we go somewhere with a good view? Somewhere with a better view. Mm, let's go all the way to the top of that. Well, there has to be something to the top of that anyway, so. I was confused as well, no worries. Well, I hope that that's what logs in that that last slot um because if it's not that i don't know what it could be and it'll just annoy me oh i didn't mean to do that ah oh, the music is even if i'm wrong and this is not what you need to do the music is so beautiful that it's worth it thank you for the follows guys thank you thank you you should definitely get the geoglyphs in order oh shit you should get the geoglyphs in order. Major story spoilers if you stumble upon a later one earlier. Fascinating to hear. I think I saw someone else write... Um, didn't someone write that uh, the wind temple... The wind temple was most of people... Hmm? Didn't someone write that the wind temple is most people's first temple? Question mark. That's a mouthful. Um, because my understanding, the whole reason I came here first was because, 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 uh, no, wait, which one was it? It was here. Wasn't it? Okay, there was one of these main quests and it listed out the regions in in an order. And so I was like, okay, I'll do it in the order that it's listed out the regions, but now it's not there anymore, right? Because it would have been this one. Pure suggests investigating the major phenomenon in various regions is the next step to search for Zelda. There are three more regions where these staged phenomena are happening, but I could have sworn la when it, I could have sworn that this used to have text and it, we used to say Hebra, Elden, Gerudo, 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 and then the um, Zora last, uh, Lanayru last. So that's the order I'm going to do it in. Is kind of the order that it seems to be suggested. If if I am incorrect, I guess let me know. Although I would think I'm probably not incorrect because she's just said to go to Elden. So I I would assume that's meant to be your hint that Elden's the next place you should go. Java destroying local art. <laughs> it was a mistake, I promise. You need to get the geoglyphs in order, by the way, or you'll get spoilers. Oh, it was Melancholy's first as well. Some people say that they read that. I didn't know. Oh, and you went to Zora's first. But I think it's better to go to the wind region first. I... Uh, yeah, I could have sworn when you first meet her. It's annoying now that that's not written there. Um... But I could have sworn, I could have sworn that's what, that's what they kind of want you to do. The game pushes you to do, oh, there you go. Oh, wind, fire, water, lightning. Puro tells you to go to Hebra since it's the easiest to get to. Got it. I could have, I don't know why I feel, I, could, I don't know why I thought that Lanayru was last, but I would believe that. The Order of Geoglyphs is in the Forgotten Temple. But does it, <laughs> this is so stupid. It doesn't list them like in numerical order though, right? Like how are you supposed to know what order to do it in? 
Does that make sense? No, yes, no, maybe. Oh, thank God. You returned, Outlaw, welcome back. I chose to do things out of order because it's funny to start out as the underdog, then blow away the easier areas with my unlimited power. I feel like that is a very, um, like, that feels like a very unique mindset to have. I don't know, like in a, in a fascinating, I find that fascinating. That would never have crossed my mind. Oh, oh, ascend, I can ascend, I can ascend. Jeez, man, you forget about this stuff, or at least I forget about this stuff, clearly. What? Oh. You worked counterclockwise through the map after the wind tumble though. Oh, so you went to, to Gerudo. Well, to be fair, like, I, I get what, that makes sense, I get why. If there's nothing worthwhile up here for me, I'm gonna be so upset. Not that I would have, you guys could have told me there was nothing worthwhile up here and I still would have done it. There you go, looks like we'll get a Korok. All worth it in the end and a good view, so. pictures oh but on the wall around it they're in order left to right okay okay i'll i'll ooh, i'll go back and pay attention something potentially worthwhile in there i didn't really need to mark that uh what else is around Ooh, uh can i My map is a mess, huh? Let's just delete that. Whatever it is, I don't know. Okay. Are there no shrines? Is it just me or are there way, there seem to be way fewer shrines in this game than in Breath of the Wild. I feel like I used to be able to stand up here and, and see a whole bunch of uh, noteworthy things. Uh, and it just doesn't feel like that anymore. <clears throat> Gotta head out. Thank you, Agchi, for hanging out. Have a fantastic rest of your day or night. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You lovely, lovely. No, I post pictures on the wall. Oh, yeah, left to right, sorry. I've done so many shrines now. They are all easy well i think you meant like the dungeons right what's up good people in the lemon grove how are you doing the lovely man Barry? how's it going a rock isn't it kind of funny that you know like how did we, how did we all discover in um breath of the wild to know to be conditioned to pick up the rocks you know and yet and yet just thought looks, oh, and then remembered it. That's funny. There's a ton above me. Oh yeah, there's a ton above me. Hmm. A lot of the shrines are hidden. Yeah, geez. They must be so well hidden. I've completely, the game is incredible, obviously. The game is massive. It's, there's so much to do. I completely forgot about the chasms. Deary me. Golden shadows. Cave shrines. Ooh, what are the... Oh. Ooh. Ooh. What are the cave shrines? Couldn't have gone two for two. Um. Oh, maybe you need a roof over your head. Not quite. To me, that felt good enough, but good enough is not good enough. Okay. Well, 
welcome in golden shadows thank you for the follows everyone massive welcome in <coughs> lovely lovely new people how if you feel like talking um i would love to know how your day or night's going how you're enjoying tears of the kingdom assuming that you're working on your own playthrough but if you would like to lurk instead please we love and adore our lurkers oh let's climb up this and do it good catching the train for a client client meeting next 30 minutes so you can finally join stream i am thrilled to have you for the next 30 minutes how oh. this is so annoying <laughs> Let's do it underneath. Oh. Well, that was generous that it will snap in. I've done 64 now and have a hard time finding them. Wow. I'm having such a hard time finding them. And I feel like I'm doing a decent-ish job of exploring. Um, because again, this is something that I talk about a lot. I think this is something that I've spoken about a lot in relation to, um, Tears of the Kingdom. But if not, I, in stream in general, I love to just like, I'm not one of those streamers that's going to do main mission, main mission, main mission. I love to explore. And like, if I were playing this on my own, I'd be zoning out. I would have no problem just like potentially wasting time going to see something that's not fruitful what Tulin's vow has granted you the power to summon this avatar oh this is maybe just because it's the first time that i'm out of the i see i see i see interesting okay um, but it'd be interesting to know, like, what level of exploring do you guys find interesting? Does it get boring? I mean, frankly, I just think it's a good time. Like, it allows me to do what I love to do anyway, which is just chat and hang out with you guys, so. Yeah, it runs fantastically for a Switch game. This game is such an improvement for Breath of the Wild, and I love Breath of the Wild. Isn't it crazy how much they've improved upon? Like, I wouldn't even say, maybe there are, like, things here and there from Breath of the Wild that I was like, nah, I don't love that, don't love that. Um, and yet you play this and you just go, wow, so many fantastic, uh, updates. Yo, Jadigans with the raid. You look under every rock. Yeah. Carton, all of it, all of it, El uh, Alec, all of it. Where it lovely, lovely raiders. Welcome in. I don't know if they're stuck behind an advert or not. I feel terrible. Thank you for the shout out. Jadigans and raiders, if you can hear me. Oh my God, bless. Chat voted to raid you. I'm going to cry. That's so lovely. Raiders, I'm thrilled that you're here. Welcome in. I'm at Strava Chip. Um, this is my... I'm so used to saying that this is my first playthrough of games. I'm normally playing games that like other people have played before. Um, this is my... I'm still on my first playthrough of Tears of the Kingdom. I have just defeated the first dungeon. So we're going to do a lot of exploring about. I am in no rush to do the second dungeon. Um, but I do... Luckily, I'm... I'm like not in action right now, but I do want to say that in case there are people here who don't want anything spoiled, I completely understand. Um, otherwise, we're totally backseat gaming friendly. Obviously, no spoilers. So hopefully, you're good to chill and hang out. I'm super chatty. Love hanging out with you guys. And the mods already shout out Jadigans, guys. If you are not yet following Jadigans, please, please do. She is phenomenally phenomenal. First of all, gains through the roof, um, but phenomenally lovely, talented streamer. It would mean the absolute world to me if you could go check her out. What were you streaming? What did you get up to? It looks like gelatin. You're so rude. You're so rude. And thank you for the follows, everyone. Massive, massive thank you for the follows. The last thing I will say, shameful, shame-fueled plug. Um, if you're not if you would like to see the rest of my playthrough, it is all up on YouTube. Massive shout out to my lovely editor, LB, for getting um, all of, of um, Tears of the Kingdom up. I have a whole bunch of other playthroughs on there. So if you like, if you end up liking what you see here, there's a lot more of it on YouTube and it'd mean the world to me if you catch up there. 
Raiders of the Lost Java. Yeah, exactly. Mostly chatting and doing a workout stream. This is what I said, guys. The gains. The gains. Phenomenal. I'm not rude, just hungry. Of course you're not rude. I don't think you're hungry either. It's very chill. I mean, sorry, I don't I don't think you're ever rude. I, you probably are hungry. I'm hungry. It's very chilled out. My only gripe with the game is a lack of obvious story. The lack of obvious story. Pray tell, please. Sabasar. Sabasar. Oh. You're quite the handsome Vo, aren't you? Vo is Gerudo for boy. To meet in such a romantic place. Could you be the Vaux I was destined to fall in love with? No, no. I can tell just from the look on your face. You did not come here and search for your tr one true love. That's too bad. Mm. The snow isn't as bad here as it's been lately, but, Burr, I'm still so cold. Still, in a place as magical as this, I really do believe I will finally meet the handsome Vaux of my dreams. Mm. But until then, let me tell you a rumor I heard about cherry blossom trees. Apparently, there's a strange creature called a Satori that is sometimes seen near such trees. I've never seen it myself, but I really want to. I also hear that a Satori likes fruit. I guess I should have brought some kind of fruit with me, huh? Okay. These, I think... Oh, what's this? Carrot? Carrot. A carrot is not a fruit. No. No. I don't know why I said that, Manberry. It was a slip of the tongue. Do I have any apples? I don't think I do. No. Um, do I have anything that would count as a fruit? Yes. A berry. Uh, now what? Where do I... Do we go and hide? Is there a chance of you playing Ori Biohazard? I don't want to... S oh, put an apple in a bowl. I don't have an apple. It said a fruit. I was hoping any fruit would do. Okay, well, we have to find an apple. Let's put a mark on the map. Um... Uh, hot? Let's go see this. Green. Um... But see, like, why isn't there a shrine nearby? Ooh. What was I in the middle saying? God, it's totally gone. That's so annoying. What was I in the middle of saying? Oh, never say never. Biohazard. I don't know. I think that's too scary for me. Who knows? Maybe I will. We'll see. I, I wouldn't hold your breath for it. How about that? I think that's the, uh, the fairest thing to say. Time to stop the Java workout routine. I need to learn how to become shredded. I know, guys. I'm, my muscles are so rippling, you don't even know where to look. But please, please try your best to focus. Hey, Nova, how's it going? Welcome in. Blood moon. Okay, we have contraptions. And that, but like, what do I need? What do I need for it? And this, just to get high up, maybe? But I don't need to be high up. We'll wait for this to finish, and then... Well, there's a lot of wandering around, and whilst I well, love you can explore everywhere, I wish the, the main aim of the game was a little bit better defined at times. I mean, I'm following, but if you came to stream today, the entire part of the game would be a mystery. That's honestly fair. That's really, really fair. I mean, the game is so much about just exploring. Because it's not that the story's not there. There's clearly a story there, but it it is... Yeah, you do... Yeah. It's almost like the story happens in just exciting... I hate the word, but in, in, in exciting chunks. Because whilst I think a lot of what you do is like world building, it's not pushing the main narrative a lot. I guess, does that ring fair or true at all? 
All right, well, we don't want to be going too far this way because we're going to be pushing into Gerudo Valley. Um, that wasn't really that interesting. I mean, you, we got a Korok seed from it. Uh, let's carry on. I would love to find a shrine nearby this, honestly. So let's try and push on for this sake, but then, yeah. You're still here, Roger Kim. Yo, yes, I am. I've not been live for that. I mean, I've been live for three hours. Not that long. Well, for me, not that long. I mean, not that I'm going to go on for ages and ages, but... It's true, visual overload. There is a lot. It is a lot. It's a lot, for sure. 100%. I can agree with that. Red, welcome in. The skincare routine is exactly, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> At my old, old age, 435 years old. Um, I think the only thing that feels off to me in Tears of the Kingdom versus Breath of the Wild, and I could totally be because I'm streaming it instead of playing it by myself. I feel like Breath of the Wild did a really good job of showing you points of interest. It, I felt like... Oof. I felt like you weren't really spending that long um, between interesting points of interest. And so you were always kind of being pulled by... What do you call it? Pulled by the nose? Is that a good or a bad thing? I don't know. You felt like you're always kind of being pulled into seeing and doing one cool thing or other. Whereas it's kind of felt in, in Tears of the Kingdom as bizarre as this is to say. And again, I could be so wrong. It's it's kind of felt like I've done a lot of exploring and then unsuccessfully... Yeah, I've been kind of unsuccessful about finding interesting things. I don't know. It's so good, isn't it, Naxal? I mean, the game is amazing. Any of the gripes I have to pick are so small. So, so small. That's too long a wait to have a good skin. I give up. Oh, wait. Were you asking about skincare, genuinely? Because I can tell you. I mean, I... Look. I have plenty of skin issues, for sure. But I can, I'm happy to share whatever... Ooh, whatever I do do. Oh. Like, is there nothing? Is there really... I feel like standing from up here, I should see something. But these shrines must be so well hidden. And I feel like maybe in Breath of the Wild, they just weren't that well hidden. <laughs> I'm more used to seeing them. But like, for example, if I can't find a shrine nearby where the blossom tree is, it sort of makes having to do it a bit more painful. Hmm. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, where is there a rock nearby? Is there a rock nearby? Maybe from up top? Oh, hidden here? No. That was one of my favorite streamers. I have a YouTube as well. Winged Angel, you're a legend. Thank you so much. That's incredibly kind to hear. Hey, I like watching your stream, so the longer the better for me. That's good. It's world building, not story building. Yes. Like, you do a lot of side mission things that make Hyrule... Oh, dear. He fights still. That make, like, Hyrule a full world that breathes on its own. You help NPCs with like interesting predicaments, etc. Um, but it's all that stuff doesn't push the story along. It just helps build out Hyrule. Okay, so for example, Audio 2, you could bimble about and get lost in the world, but there was an overriding story. There seems to be a lack of that from a viewer's standpoint. Hmm. But could you not say I don't disagree. I'm not I'm just playing the thread out. Could you not say that? Well, maybe because ODR is divided into like more distinct chapters, you have like more 
short term goals that you're always kind of pushing towards. Whereas this one, right off the bat, you're given there's lots of small like things to be doing in there, but you're given one big overarching goal and that doesn't change in the game. But then this game is also much more a uh, like open world game than RDR is, right? Thank you for the follows, guys. Where are the points of interest in Breath of the Wild? I think it was just like in Breath of the Wild. When I say points of interest, I mean like mainly shrines. Mainly shrines or like different interesting places. I feel like I would get done with one shrine and be able to see one in the in like the distant future or an interesting little town situation. Hmm. To to go see um and maybe maybe I'm just running past so many shrines here and I'm just being so silly. Cause also what this game doesn't have that Breath of the Wild did have um is the the notification. There was a sound notification. <laughs> the face is made an Elden Ring alone or worth it, the Java eyebrow. You say you have plenty of skin issues, but your skin is glowing and smooth. You are so you're so lovely. I can, well, I could totally tell you, I have a lot of um, redness. So, ooh, I have a lot of mm, skin redness. So like, for example, I wouldn't feel comfortable not wearing some foundation on a stream because that my skin tone would just be really uneven. Um, I used to have a lot of acne. What I do is uh, I, I have uh, trentinoin. I use trentinoin, which is really helpful for that, for sure. I think it's also just, it's kind of helped some like also fade. Um, they're not acne scars. What do you call it? Like the redness that sticks on your skin after you have a spot. Uh, it helps fade that because I get redness that sticks from, I have redness period, like in general. And then redness from like red marks that stick from spots. So that's been really helpful. This is really boring and it's absolutely not going to fix your skin problems. Like I, I hate when people push this narrative of like, just drink water, lol. Like you, you wouldn't have any acne if you just drank water. It's like, that's not true. Um, and like there are plenty of people that get hormonal acne and drinking water is not going to help your hormonal acne. But I think it's definitely helped me give, um, helped, helped maybe with just like my skin feels more alive because of that. Mm. And then I try not to do too much in terms of like, I, I, I mean, I wash my face. I wash my face at night and then I like rinse it in the morning. And I try not to do, to mess with it too, too much. I don't know if that's helpful or not. The trend to know in is great. I, I do recommend. Ah! Just like here. Ay. And I am wearing highlighter on my cheeks. To be clear, I do have highlighter on. Anna, welcome in. Hyperpigmentation. Thank you. Thank you, Anna. I get bad. Like, I, when I get acne, because I still get acne now. Um, I, I, it's not like really, sorry. I know this is maybe like TMI or whatever, but we're just exploring a little bit. You know, who's it going to hurt? Um, I don't get like uh, whiteheads. It's like, feels like it's very deep, almost more like cystic acne. And even if I don't touch it, it will almost always leave the hyperpigmentation, whatever. So the trentinone helps with that as well. Link must be cold. He's not cold. He's I. <laughs> Injured, yes. Cold, no. <laughs> Oh, no. No. Why can't I? Am I being a silly? Oh, maybe because it's an animal? Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. 
I prefer Tears of the Kingdom a lot more to Breath of the Wild. The storyline um, is more streamlined in the game. It's not just restricted to main quests. There are a bunch of hints to the side quests, plus a bunch of adventures with their own little storylines that are fun to follow. You're still quite early game, so not many story elements. Still kind of tutorial phase, which is actually really good to hear. Um, because I am... Um, oh my gosh. I don't know what I expected. That was silly. It's good to hear because I think what uh, what Breath of the Wild probably did... I was going to say did better, but I don't think it's better. I think one of the things that Breath of the Wild did well that worked for that game... Um, is this not the way to do it? No. Uh, what Breath of the Wild did that I think worked well for that game is... Um, is... <laughs> what is it, Java? you It's totally open world, right? Once you get through the tutorial, the, the island in the beginning, you can go and do whatever you want. However, if you do choose to follow, uh, like, where they tell you to go, you're kind of led a little bit more on tighter tracks, I feel like. Um, like how they tell you to go visit the town what's the town Hatano village from Hatano you go to Kakariko and then you start to do the divine beast stuff and so I feel like you kind of get more whereas this is kind of just like it, it feels like it did a lot more of just you do the tutorial you do outlook landing I think it's called you're if you're doing it like as intended right which is open to interpretation um tutorial outlook landing and then Unless I'm misunderstanding, you just go to Hebra. I need to cough once again. Sorry. I think you have beautiful skin. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That means the world to me. But also keep in mind that I am wearing. I've got makeup on. I've got foundation on, blush, highlighter. I get, I have really dark natural, uh, my under eyes are naturally really dark, so I've got a couple concealers on. Just to be transparent, I am not, whilst, I hate the idea that, but like, people think that they look entirely different with makeup on, like that's not how makeup works, but also, my skin does look different. Wasn't any gamer a menace. Totally. Except I, I was hoping to try and practice more of like my flurry rushes. Um, I, guys, what am I doing? How am I just so silly? I feel like I must be being so silly. There has to be a shrine somewhere around here and I just didn't push low down enough. Um, we got this one already, so let's do this. We're not that far from this thing. Let us go back to... Where is it? Where is it? Um, where was it? Oh, here, here, here. Yes, so that we can see the correct order to do the sigils. Yeah, okay. I take your point about being more open world, but I'm, and I am enjoying this game. I'm just playing devil's advocate from an audience point of view. If you don't know Zelda games and miss the first stream, it's hard to know directly from the game what your purpose is. I wish there were some more strategic bosses which serve a main story purpose. No, I think that's really fair. I honestly think that that's really, really fair. Um, it is hard. I, I do feel like it's potentially hard to get uh, maybe like <clears throat> wrapped up in the game if you're not kind of like playing it on your own or sort of know what's going on mm. but then I guess on the plus side part of it is like well you kind of need to buy into it right so what I was going to say is I guess on the plus side it's kind of like it's sort of then because it's about a lot of exploring if you miss a stream or you miss, like, let's just say people missed me doing this dungeon um, and they come into another stream and, and they come, in a way it's, 
don't know. It's not like you missed out on some big story beat where maybe you're kind of like, well, now what are you meant to be doing? What did I miss out on? Like you're doing a lot of the same stuff, but in different places, in different ways. It's cool. I love it. I get it. I, it's, yeah, it's an interesting one. It's almost like, it's just so open world. This has to be the most, well, I don't know. What do you guys think? I was going to say this has to be the most open world game, open world -iest of open world games that I've played um but i wonder what you guys think yeah of course i'm not a professional obviously and i have a lot of skin issues but i'm happy to give whatever tips that i can makeup is for making you look different i think but it doesn't make you look different it really doesn't i mean don't get me wrong there are people who are skilled artists that can do makeup far and away and you go oh my god how did you even do that but like if i were to take off the makeup that i have on now you uh, spoiler alert i look the same just a bit more red in the skin <laughs> makeup is the devil's way for women to trick men yes jb of course <laughs> does she post what game she's gonna play next or not no i didn't um but i can talk through it i'm just catching up on chat actually really quickly how do i tell i know you guys said it's on the wall how do i tell what the oh this must be the correct order ah so we are doing it right oh shit okay um so then the next one would be an elden she said it was an elden yeah right below the thing but is there not well then this must be i definitely don't want to do them in the wrong order um <coughs> excuse me interesting the zelda one i think we've still not seen but i can remove this i think i think this was originally to mark the tier that we've already done okay um <laughs> go back to look at landing okay we'll do that i did play breath of the wild yes but i did not stream it i played that on my own i can't remember what year i played it uh, but it would have been close to when it came out and i was not a streamer at the time what games i'm gonna play next so Tears of the Kingdom, I'm not looking to rush at all. So hopefully you guys are enjoying it um, and are on the ride with me because I think there'll be a lot more of it. Uh, I am currently also playing Elden Ring. So I want to carry on playing um, Elden Ring. I'll play some tomorrow, I think. Um, and then after that, I don't know. I said once I finished Elden Ring that I would play another FromSoft game and that's 100% true. I will be doing that. Um, part of me wanted to play a game that, uh, part of me wants to play a game that, like, not a new game, like something that you guys have played before. Honestly, I was playing around the idea of playing Witcher 3, um, but I'm worried that it might be so exhausting oh. playing Witcher 3 after just having played Breath of the Wild, after just having played Elden Ring. They're, like, very long games. It might be nice to do something a bit shorter. I feel like there's also so many good games coming up shortly that i i feel like it's going to be like there before i know it uh before i talk to these things really quickly uh better up reading libra sun leo moon uh aries rising a lot of fire double fire mixed with air this is similar to um oh. similar to a friend of mine's birth chart libra sun libra i think is so like democratic always like very level-headed the lovely basics are libra actually um, I feel like Libra and Sagittarius are kind of similar, not like in a fear of commitment kind of thing. I think where Sagittarius is kind of fear of commitment, I don't know what else I could be missing out on, whatever, whatever. Libra is more like, I consider every angle possible and therefore I'm like paralyzed to make a choice kind of thing. Um, I'm a Sagittarius sun and a Libra rising, so it is impossible for me to make decisions, but when I make a decision, I make it uh leo moon leo moon leo is like very fiery very gregarious quite sensitive souls in a way leo so i would imagine that emotionally you're very passionate but not in like a flaming not not in like fire and brimstone oh. anger but it passionate in the way of like how hot 
a flame burns you know what i mean it's like very you everything you feel everything and intensely but not in like a <clears throat> let it all back and tears and whatnot it's just like a, well like tears like you cry but it's like a very i don't know you feel deeply and then aries rising aries are like stereotypically you're kind of hot tempered like hot trigger kind of thing but i feel like the libra helps keep that in check i could see where like you may be one that's potentially quick to anger but i think it plays really well with the libra so that's my little mini reading <clears throat> it was hard for me to decide breath wild was my favorite game ever now i think this game is the game is so good let me catch up on chat super quickly sorry guys makeup is confusing for me but yeah tempting with pretty colors i'm terrible at makeup i i do like barely what i think is good for my face i can barely do wing like eyeliner wing and and that's it you didn't get a doofus, you sure you didn't. Mm, okay, capital G, that's good to know. She hates mm. me now, I guess. No, I don't. No, I do not. Okay. Yes, Witcher 3, you won't regret playing it. I don't think I'll regret mm. it. I just think it's so big. You're a Goron, you should know the way to Goron City. How in the name of Hylia did you forget? Mm. Lay off, I'm embarrassed enough as it is. Besides, it's not that I forgot. When I left the city, there was still lava everywhere. Mm. I didn't know Death Mountain would stop erupting. I didn't know Death Mountain <coughs> would stop erupting. The lava would cool and new roads would form. Half oh, Dan, thank you for the thought. Mm. You don't have to tell me there was lava everywhere. It used to be so hot that Hylians couldn't step foot on the mountain without a fire-resistant gear. Even if I wanted to take a trip that way, I couldn't. Well, thanks to this guy, now you can. First, we have to walk down the road towards Death Mountain. You can see over the over in the northeast. Then we'll arrive at the Woodland Stable, and from there we keep going north. Thanks again for the directions, fellow. Oh. The red haze around the summit looks worryingly like gloom. Try not to get too close. Oh. Okay, let's go. Mm, we'll stop by the bistro you keep mentioning. Mm. Now you're talking. All right, so that's clearly like a... I assume they meant they kind of expected you to make your way here after doing all the things. Monty? Unnamed person? Atmos? Really? No name? No. <coughs> Mm. Jaren, Anson. That was actually super accurate. That makes me feel good. <laughs> For anyone that doesn't know, I'm do not know this stuff professionally. Okay. Oh. Oh, hey, it's you again. So you know, I've taken my time to say all my goodbyes. The thing is, it's always really dusty around here, so I work overtime to clean it all up. Well, I was working so hard, in fact, that the force of my broom accidentally took out this part of the wall. Ever since, I've been hearing this creepy voice coming from the hole I made. It almost sounds like a demon growling. No one else claims to hear it, but I certainly do. At this point, I'm pretty sure I unsettled the demon when I bashed up the wall. So it sounds to reason that it wants revenge. I'll be the one who's targeted. Oh, cute. Okay. Sorry, hang on. I don't know why. Techno, welcome in. How's it going? Thank you so much. Uh, have I played Hades? I have not played Hades. And actually, we were um, we were talking about Hades. It must have been last stream, I think. Uh... It must have been last stream. I would like to play Hades. Um, and there's Hades 2 coming out, I think. I don't know when. I don't know if you guys know when. I have no bombs. Oh. That's not what I meant to do. That sucks. Uh, do you guys know how I can break this? Hmm. I would rock hammer. Fuse a rock to my... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. You're... Jeez. 
That's what I mean. I keep on, the game is amazing. I just keep on. Oh shit! I keep on forgetting all the stuff you can do. It's almost overwhelming. Ugh! This is all fused. Can I not unfuse this? Uh. You can break fused materials. Java from the menu, please. <laughs> Java, for the love of God, from the menu, destroy fused material. Well, that seems like a waste. Uh, mm. 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 That sucks. It's just, it's, it's just a lot, guys. Okay, don't breathe, uh, yo. Cr ah. You can't from the in inventory. Kuroshi. I don't think I said that right. Welcome, welcome in. How is your day or night going? Okay, menu. What a dog's dinner I'm making of this stuff, huh? Destroy fuse material. See, it just feels wrong. <laughs> ah! Ah, so there's someone who still pay me homage. Yes. So brief a welcome in. I hate this guy. Why? Long life, wealth, like so many of your kind. Whichever it was, you came to the right place. A dealer in life and power. That was me once. Alas to my... Alas, my life for money bargains didn't sit well with the goddess Hylia. She turned me into the stone statue a long time ago. Even then, I continued my bargains as a statue in a village. Still, the goddess did not like what I was doing. I was banished from the main street to the outskirts of this town, scorned and neglected, but that was not enough for her. Again, I was sent away, spent time trapped in a pond with only fish for company, and finally here. Perhaps another might have learnt a lesson from this, but I have not. No, I have only been biding my time for the moment when someone who can hear me appears, someone such as you. I'm sure we can reach a beneficial arrangement. I have dealt only with fish for too long, and fish make terrible deals. Now then, shall we strike a bargain? Hold still and don't fret. I'll take care of everything. This won't hurt a bit. Yeah. Great. Deary me. Fa ha ha. My touch is as subtle as ever. Now, how I took that essence from you without leaving a mark. Note how I took the essence from you without leaving a mark. Okay. Give it back. Do you think I'd deceive you? Perish the thought. I hope that Oz will be a long and profitable for the edit. Give me the hot bag. Cool. Well, this was in Breath of the Wild, and that's what they're referencing. <laughs> oh, hear me out. Kingdom Hearts. Not Kingdom Hearts. Uh, Hollow Knight. I keep on doing that. Someone said play Ghost and Goblins. Whoever it was, just tell me that you hate me. Um... Uh, first you must sell me either type of essence for a hundred rupees if you want it back. Yeah, okay. So this guy, you can just respec here, but it costs money. Um, yeah, you must hate me. I would be miserable playing Ghosts and Goblins. Miserable. I'm awful. For anyone that doesn't know, I'm just atrocious at platforming. <coughs> How's it going, Dope Reefer? Uh, 
What do you want me to do? Whatever. Don't look at me, guys. What's a good filler game? Sorry. Oh no. Do, uh, where's my jumper? Welcome in. Oh, when Simon played Hades, I grew to absolutely love it. It's such a fun and pretty game. Easy to dip into for a stream or two. I've never played... Sorry, I didn't finish the thought. I, I would... I've always been intrigued by Hades just because of the art style. I was like, oh, it looks really pretty. Um, and I didn't know what kind of game it played as. And then I've learned that it's a rogue-like game. <clears throat> rogue-like, rogue-lite. I don't know which. Um, and I've never played a rogue-like or light game. Um, so I was like, okay, that could be interesting. Right? Question mark, question mark. Doesn't seem to be anything else particularly worthwhile here. I could be wrong. <coughs> Excuse me. Ghosts and Goblins, OG, amazing. Ghouls and Ghosts was one of my favorite games as a kid too. Oh, is it? I think it was called Ghosts and Goblins. They did a remake for it or something, right? It's a really old game that they came out with a new, like a remaster, remake of it. I broke the wall and angered the demon. I'll be paying for my da 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 da. I told you, you're fine. <laughs> it is this goodbye for me? Wait, a demon statue is in there, you say? I know a bit about those. Want to know what I know? Sure. <laughs> a dealer in the inner? Yep, yep, yep. Yep, 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 yep. We just read all this stuff. Nice. Okay, not bad. <laughs> That's Robbie spending allowance for the next month. That seems so sad. Poor thing. Really old. Ghosts and Goblins was 85. Ghouls and... Oh, Ghouls and Ghosts is a sequel. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, not bad. Is there anyone else here? Well, the thing is, I don't know who these people... Dion... Okay. Oh. Brad Mano was on duty here. Okay. Oh. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh. All right. <clears throat> I don't think this person that we need to speak to is down here. Let's go up. Joshua above. Joshua. Yeah, that's who someone had said to speak to. Robbie, let's speak. Oh, Joshua. <laughs> okay. I didn't remember who Joshua was. I'm sorry. All the names kind of blur together a little bit. Puppy killer. Welcome in. There's a tunnel there that will take you under, under into the castle. Was that the tunnel maybe that I was just in? I thought it, I thought it led to a dead end, but maybe it didn't. Welcome, welcome in. Hopefully puppies are safe around you, huh? Uh -huh. So, remember that fragment I had? The one that showed a single mysterious figure? I found more fragments amongst the things our survey team brought back from the depths. And guess what? They fit together like puzzle pieces. Okay. Ta-da! Just look. Oh. Feast your eyes upon this amazing mural. The scene shows that there's a whole series of statues down there. Like the one you found for me last time. Oh shit, this is the chasm. Mm. What really caught my attention is the way they're orientated. Each figure is pointed towards the next one in the series. Mm. Until it ends with that last statue facing a final destination, a building that looks like a temple. Hmm. Mm. Also, see those large ears on the figure at the front of the building? That's got to be one of the Zonai. And then there's a strange hand symbol that seems to be responding to whatever the Zonai is doing. 
Uh-huh. So to collect my thoughts on all of this, I'm pretty sure if you follow the gaze of each of those statues down there, you'll reach that structure. I'm also guessing, I'm also betting, excuse me, that the temple-like building holds something of Zonai origin. I've heard that the Zonai wielded mysterious powers. I wonder if this correlates to those powers. Of course, all of this is still just speculation on my part. So that's where you come in, swordsman. I want you to find the temple structure depicted in the mural. Initially, I figured I could just go by myself or just go myself rather. So I gathered a bunch of bright rooms and supplies. But they pulled the kid card. Mm -hmm. So here, 10. Okay, cool. You can have these two arrows. Great. Bright blooms and arrows are perfect for exploring the depths. There's added bonus that there's the added bonus that checking out the depths might provide us yeah with clues on Zelda. So if it all works out, maybe you'll snag some mysterious power for yourself and gain clues about Princess Zelda. Nothing like good things, but good things, right? Thank you for your help with the swordsman. Okay. Oh, the one with the demon statue. So we were just there. We were just in there. Um, and maybe there was more that we could have done. It, I, I thought it was kind of a dead end, but to be honest, I needed, I need like a, the swords I was using kept breaking. So it'd be nice to get like a, is there like a spare sword about? And we can tunnel more into Hyrule. <laughs> By the way, Witcher 3, oh. Witcher 3. Um, is a long game, but it's not heavy at all. The story is so nice and the game flows well. It's an experience that you go through without real perceived effort. I definitely 150 bajillion trillion percent, <laughs> which I, of course, do not say lightly. How am I so low on bomb flowers? Um, I definitely will be playing Witcher. I just don't know if it makes sense to play Witcher when I'm done playing Zelda or not. To be fair, we've got a lot of time in Zelda still. Um, so I think we we got some time to decide, but maybe it'd be good to hear what you guys want to do, but or like what you guys would want to watch. But then also, um, I feel like by the time I finish Zelda, I don't know, maybe I'll have to go straight to Hades. I have no idea. Royal Claymore, cool. Okay, well then this, it's kind of not quite what I wanted to use, but it works. Dating is very hard. I don't know what we're talking about, but dating is very hard. Agreed. Fuse rocks with a sword. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was doing down in the down in the depths, but I uh, kept, I didn't want to have to dest continue destroying more weapons. Gerald would be topless the whole game. Yes, of course. I'm here to give you all what you want anyway. Oh, there he is. I didn't know he was still here. Mm. Okay, you're gonna stay here and relax for a while. Yep, 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 yep. Let's do, I think I can do this twice. So let's do weapon and then bow. Oh, wow, maybe I can do this a lot. Hey, Foggy Cake, how's it going? You're forgetting new EA Sports FC F1 23 and new Street Fighter 6. Of course, of co how could I possibly forget? I am very well known for playing all of those games. However, comma, that being said, you may be seeing one of those games on stream. So cute, but you can you imagine driving grinding just to get the armor sets? It could take forever. Well, that's the thing. I think it's gonna take ages. And I really don't want to rush through it. I've had so many people ask me about Witcher 3. It's absolutely not one that I want to rush through. Wow, we can do this a lot. Okay. <clears throat> what should I upgrade after this? Do we think more, more weapon or more shield? Maybe another shield one would be good. 
They're very on brand. Very on brand indeed. I made Hetsu song my ringtone. Oh, is it him singing it? I hope it's him singing it. Uh, let's do... Yeah. What about Final Fantasy? I've never played... Next for Java, a nice visual novel. Yeah, exactly. Um, I've never played any of the Final Fantasies. It feels like a very daunting franchise to jump into, if I'm being honest. <laughs> I don't know. Um, let's do one more here. Very silly broccoli man, indeed. See, Alex got the right idea, doing a little dancing going on. <laughs> so cute, I can't fucking bear it. I can't bear it, guys. And now I feel like I've way upgraded more than I should have. And yet, and yet. I simply will not learn. Okay. No, let's leave it like that. Okay. Do I want to go inside Hyrule? Um, why not? Sure. In for a penny, in for a pound. Hmm? What are you all looking at here? Hmm. Hmm? See, the game is clever. It does... It will clearly guide you to do stuff like this. Do you know what I mean? Don't tell me. Based on your stature, your stature, physique, and distinctive right arm, you must be Link. Yes. I'm Wurt's, Wartsworth. Oh. Okay. Mm. The stone tablet that fell from the skies inscribed with ancient Hylian. If I can manage to translate the text, then maybe the key to understanding a moment in time from ancient Hyrule. Oh. I can translate this from ancient Hyrulean, but my notes are back in the research lab in Kakariko. Okay, so I'll be in there to check this text against my notes and proceed with the translation. It's a, I've already copied down what's inscribed here, so I'll be getting back mm. to the village. If that piques your interest, Link, you should come to Kakariko. Ah. We absolutely will be going back to Kakariko, because I did go there very briefly at first. Stupidly. Um, oh, because I was trying to find... I do this shit to myself all the time. I was trying to find Impa. And so I was like, okay. Because the game made a, like some kind of side comment about you should go and see Impa. So it's like, okay, I'll go and see Impa where Impa was before. And then obviously Impa's not there anymore. <laughs> Why would she be? More on Java. So not you, you can expand your weapon stashes. You're joking, JB. There's no way, are you meme? Wait, did you play Breath of the Wild? Because if you didn't, then I could see how you wouldn't know that. Um, but then I'm more so kind of fascinated that you would play Tears of the Kingdom and not play Breath of the Wild. Yeah, you play Breath of the Wild. Did you not expand any of your weapon stash in Breath of the Wild either? Ugh. This sucks. Uh. How do I do this? How do I do? Oh, uh, maybe like. Okay, good. Another sword that we can use. Where is this? Where am I? What's the point of this room? I don't know. There doesn't seem to be a point in the room. <clears throat> there are bomb flowers. Am I, are there bomb flowers in here and I'm just missing them? No, I don't think so. But it's good to know, okay, there'll be some bomb flowers somewhere in here that I can use. Never figured out with C's before until now. That is hilarious. 
That is hilarious. Oh, come on. I can see bomb flowers. It doesn't say that they aren't there. I just can't find them. Okay, good stuff. Thank you for the follows and ghost for the tier one 18 months. Java, did you know that yep. you're oh, quite an exceptionally lovely and multifaceted human? That is incredibly kind of you. I'm gonna cry. But why did I read, in my mind, I read multifaceted as like, um, I read it as malfunctioned at first. And I was like, uh, I don't know about all that. <laughs> you sweetheart, how is it going? <laughs> Hi, yeah, all the love and hype. That means the absolute world to me. Oh, let go, let go, let go. <laughs> Mercifully, this seems to be, well, this was going well. I just realized it shows bomb flowers too. I've been using, oh, for the, the power hand. That's a genius idea. Let's try that. Okay, well, we've got all of that down there. All right, there's none in here then. I don't think. Back to this we go. Oh, 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 okay, here we go. The bomb flowers are far more obvious than uh, than I originally thought. I don't know if I want to be going underneath Hyrule. I feel like it's too scary, mum. So I don't know, here's the question. Not that we're anywhere close to being done with this game, of course. Um, but what what other games would you guys like to see me play? It is scary. Well, then why am I doing it? I'm a moron. What does the blue do? Oh, that is absolutely not... Uh, okay. No, can I not? <laughs> Bullshit. Bollocks. Waste, 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 waste. It needs something special for that. Well, that sucks. Because I wasted perfectly good bomb flower on that. Um, it's a blue color. So what could I use that's blue? to explode something. Oh, hang on, hang on. I've got a weapon. Um, here. All right. We've got a whole bunch more of this to knock off. It is quite satisfying doing this. I hope it's as <laughs> satisfying to look at as it is to do. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, oh. Gosh, this is weird. Can we have more choice in games like Life is Strange? There is another Life is Strange. Or two. I hope whatever that is doesn't care about me right now. So I don't want to fight it. Um, we could do that. It'd be nice to do um, maybe some stuff like how Life is Strange is a bit of a shorter game. That might be quite nice. Uh, nope. There'll be more bomb flowers. Okay, okay. Honestly, I'm looking forward to someone playing Armored Core. It's from Soft Forgotten series. Ah, uh, I 
didn't they? There was some. I should know. Wasn't there some kind of armored core announcement that happened? Or did I make that up? I don't. I I know almost next to nothing about armored core. Well, no, I I, I know nothing about it. <laughs> I don't know why I'm feigning like I know something. I like this one, which would be good. Yeah, definitely going to be doing this one for sure. For sure, for sure. Until dawn is good. Oh my god, I've played until dawn. Um, that is very scary. <laughs> Uh, what else? Gosh, I can't even think of what I would need. What could I do with blue rock? Uh, is there any kind of clue in here about what I can do with blue rock? I'm not stopping the spam yet until you play Silent Hill 2. You just want to see me miserable. Miserable, uh, terrified. I haven't seen any blue rocks. Emmanuel, True Colors is kind of good. Armored Core is releasing end of August. God, it's like, that's going to be here before you know it. You know, kind of thing. The world is your oyster job. I think the way you picked Elden Ring proves that you could stream play just about any game and make the experience entertaining. Oh, way you picked up Elden Ring. Thank you. I'm going to cry. That's so sweet. I think Hades would be good fun. I do think that. Um... Oh, there's a poll. Go vote in the poll. Do you have a zone eye bomb? They're blue when they blow up. Oh, I think I do. Uh, gosh, how do I even... Not that. Um, where? Oh, here. Oh, I've got one. Oh. Oh, blue just means it's tougher than regular rock. Oh. <laughs> I'm so glad I've wasted <laughs> I've wasted this thing on it. Um, Olio, Rogue, and Flareful, welcome into chat. Both thank you both so much for saying that, because I obviously didn't know. Well, it's fine. We'll get more time bombs. Or, or whatever they're called. I'm a time bomb. Any rock? Any rock? Here we go. Uh... I don't even really know what my purpose is. I know that this is a thing that I can do. So I'm doing it because it's a thing that I can do. But I don't know if I should be doing it. You know? Outlast, absolutely not. 112% no. I think I would actually have a heart attack playing those games. For anyone that doesn't know, I do not do well playing horror games. I'm an absolute massive scaredy cat. Shamefully. Pseudo shamefully. Sh so, I've accepted that that's, it, it is the way it is. I, I, I don't know how people play it, honestly. Like, isn't, I think basic streaming Outlast Child right now. Oh, it's okay, Cad. We'll get more. And frankly, it was a great idea. very um uh what the hell is the name of that movie Shawshank no 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 uh no well okay why am I always so like this like this I don't know why I it, it makes no sense but I have the hardest time Menuing in this game. But why? I couldn't tell you. Oh my god, not another. Nice. Alright. 
I take offense with Disco Elysium not being in the poll. Witcher 3 was the was a lot of votes. Hades, Java Sports, a, not Alien Isolation. Just say you hate... Wh whichever mod made that just hates me. Clearly. Just tell me you hate me. Hey. Have I played Subnautica? Uh, Multi-shot bows. Mm -hmm. No, I've not played any Subnautica. Because... Uh, People have told me that Subnautica is quite scary. So I was like, mm. This doesn't look structurally sound at all. No, this is surely not up to code. Definitely not. How's it going, way? There was a former streamer that would do Outlast speed runs to relax. Who? Who and how? Speaking of speedruns, um, this week is games summer game done summer games done quick. And I just think it's a lot of good. I love GDQ. As GDQ. I love watching speedruns, they're fascinating. People who've been in streams for a hot minute have heard me talk about speedrunning a lot. From just like a passion standpoint, I think it's so good. What the hell is Java Sports? It's shit. Double fuck. It's me. Oh. Just playing um any sport game, I would assume. Like FIFA, that sort of stuff. I have that issue because all the buttons are opposite of what the PlayStation would make. I know, I keep on getting A and B mixed up. It's really annoying. <laughs> Actually, I guess all of them. I keep on getting all of them mixed up. I'll stop panic pushing them all. But it's because I'm used to using a different controller and then I'm gonna play Elden Ring tomorrow and it's just gonna be a mess. No, uh, no, no, no. Grab? Oh, no, I don't wanna grab it like that. Stone, where was there a stone nearby? Oh, well, hang on. At least I can get the bomb flower. Let's get that. Is there really not another? Here we go. Grab that. Kurashi, uh, the menuing thing is because there is some subtle changes from Breath of the Wild that fucks with your mind. Whoa, I didn't realize that. But maybe you're right. Do you know, would you be able to tell us what the changes are? Thank you, by the way, for calling out Flower Bomb. Because um, that's the one that I just got. You hated Alien Isolation, I mean. Hateful, hateful, nasty people. Disco Elysium is amazing, but it's not going to win the poll. No, I've died in Disco Elysium from existential dread. I, uh, Feta played Disco Elysium. I, I know, it's weird. It's one of those games, oh. Um, oh. It's one of those games where I know almost next to nothing about it, except that, um, it's a game that a lot of people really like, but it does seem to be stressful. Oh dear. Is this really what I revealed? Oh, oh we're fine, we're fine. Java played Cat Mario. Java to play League of Legends, yeah, eSport. Oh, let's go. Toast, that's me to an absolute T. To be fair, the streamer's name had the word insane in it. The one that did the Outlaw Speed Runs to relax. I mean, we love accurate branding. I honestly expected this to be some sort of big boss. I'm kind of shocked it's not. Disco Elysium has a lot of reading. Oh, I... Oh, there is a boss. Hello, who's sleeping? Um, I was about to say I hate reading, which is uh, not entirely correct. I like reading. Oh, so creepy. I like reading um, independently. I hate reading on stream. I hate it, I hate mom, I hate it. Uh, cause I 
I'm just terrible at reading aloud. And I always feel like I do it too slow. So then I try and do it really quickly. Uh, and that's just also a bad idea. Well, speaking of bad ideas. The rocks in the middle will cause dreads. But it's something buried underneath here. I don't want to uncover it. Like, why am I doing this? I'm a moron. It's like, let me, it's like building my own grave. Okay, well, that's at least nice, isn't it? Why? Why is the eye so hard to aim for? I don't know if I have nearly enough. There we go. That's what I meant to do. What a sh- oh, okay. <sighs> what? What, what, what? Uh, can my- uh. Okay. No, what I- it Someone needs to explain why it keeps on doing that. No, 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 no. Yeah. Oh, the keys eyeballs. Okay. I don't know what that is. The thing is, this isn't even too hard to do. I'm just gonna... I just know that if I get hurt, it's gonna do a lot of damage, uh, is what I was gonna say. And then that happened. Okay, well that sucks. DE is such a masterpiece though, but yeah, maybe not be the best for streaming. I don't know. I mean, I love doing those decision type, ge assuming it's a decision type game. I like doing those kind of games with you guys, but there are limits. The Karma Tribe, dude, I know. <laughs> I should have known. I opened my mouth way too soon. I like doing decision type games with you guys, but if it, I, I do reach a point sometimes where it's like, <laughs> if I'm having to read too much, Oh, 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 okay, back up, back up. Remember, life is strange. Yes. I do. And that's such a shit. Shit. Ah. Keith's eyeballs. It's just like, how do you. How do I even. Oh, he's throwing that at me. That's not what I meant to do. Well, enjoy that. Oh, this is going to be taking so long to run, 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 run. Red! Not the gifted sub to Kate Twerks for God. Sucks. Thank you, Red, for the gifted sub. Yeah, pull one out for Kate. I know I'm going to make so many people upset, and I really don't mean to. Um, how? Okay. That was kind of a tough one, guys. I'm not going to lie. It really picked up after a certain point, but... I was a little, I was a little surprised that it took as long as it did. I don't know. Run, 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 run. This is going to be so annoying to fight. Not the jaw. Smay, welcome in. I feel like they want you to build a machine here. Oh, interesting. I'm doing like barely damage though, huh? Run, 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 run. 
Interesting. I'm so um, admittedly terrible. What? Oh! Oh no, the eyeball, the eyeball, the eyeball, the eyeball. <laughs> Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. I'm distraught, dude. I'm so distraught. <clears throat> I'm just not thinking clearly now. I'm so upset. <laughs> what a goof. What a goof that was. Stop flying around my head. Attached monster parts. I just, like, panic. I need to. I just can't. I'm so bad at doing the menuing quickly that I'm like, I don't have enough time to do that. Ah. Oh. Am I being stupid? Yes. Thank you for the follows, everyone. Welcome in. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I must be being <sighs> such a silly billy. Oh, stressful. I made that way harder than it needs to be, and I'm probably gonna get shit for it. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, let's attach that to something, right? Surely that's what it's meant for. Um. So this. Okay. Yeah. Right, lovely. How satisfying. No? Did I make a mistake? Hi Java, don't die, mob shy, welcome in. Don't tell me. I don't wanna know if I made a mistake. Don't tell me that it was something so good. I don't wanna know, I don't wanna know. <laughs> It's great. It's a level 36 sword. It's fantastic. The Stalnox Pounder. And I was actually really proud of myself for doing that. I'm not going to lie. 